All right, so in this equation, I have x minus four to the power of four is equal to x to the power of four. So my only variable in this equation is x, so that's what I'm gonna be solving for. And for my solution to this problem, what I'm first gonna do is start by subtracting x to the power of four on both sides. So if I do that, I get x minus four to the power of four minus x to the power of four is equal to zero. Now from here, I can rewrite x minus four to the power of four as x minus four to the power of two times two. And I can do the same thing with x to the power of four, so I get x to the power of two times two. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x minus four to the power of two times two is gonna equal x minus four to the power of two to the power of two. And then I have this minus x to the power of two to the power of two is equal to zero. Now from here, I can use the algebraic property that states that if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, I have x minus four squared to the power of two, and that's gonna equal x minus four to the power of two to the power of two. Now I have this minus x to the power of two to the power of two is equal to zero. So a is x minus four squared and b is x squared. So I get x minus four squared plus x squared times x minus four squared minus x squared is equal to zero. And now from here, I'm gonna expand x minus four squared, so I get x squared minus eight x plus 16 plus x squared times x squared minus eight x plus 16 minus x squared, which is equal to zero. And now these two cancel out, or sorry, these two cancel out and these two add, x squared plus x squared is two x squared, so I get two x squared minus eight x plus 16 times negative eight x plus 16 is equal to zero. Now two x squared minus eight x plus 16 times negative eight x plus 16 is equal to zero. This can be divided into two equations. I have two x squared minus eight x plus 16 is equal to zero and negative eight x plus 16 is equal to zero. So two x squared minus eight x plus 16 is equal to zero. I'm gonna divide both sides by two. So now I get x squared minus four x plus eight is equal to zero. And now I can use the quadratic formula to solve this since it's a quadratic equation. So now the quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 4, and c is 8. So I get x is equal to negative of negative 4 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is negative 4 squared, which is 16, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 8. And I have this all over 2a, so 2 times 1. And now this is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 32 over 2, which is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 16 over 2. 
And now the square root of negative 16, that's the same thing as the square root of 16 times the square root of negative 1. And now I have this over 2. And if you guys already didn't know, the imaginary number i, this is equal to the square root of negative 1. So now I have x is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of 16i over 2. Now the square root of 16 is simply 4. So I get x is equal to 4 plus or minus 4i over 2, which is equal to 2 plus or minus 2i. And now for my second equation, I have negative 8x plus 16. All I have to do is add 8x on both sides. And I get 8x is equal to 16, meaning x is equal to 2. So I have three solutions to this equation.